Namaste and welcome. It is my pleasure today to introduce to our Lokwani audience, Pradeep Gupta, who is the founder of Access My India. Access My India has successfully predicted 53 out of the 57 exit polls since 2013 in India. Access My India's 2019 general election and Haryana Assembly election forecast were the subject of a case study at Harvard Business School. Pradeep Gupta is the author of two books, How India Votes and Blueprint for the Economic Miracle. He comes from a village in Madhya Pradesh and is an engineer by training and a graduate of the Owner President Management Program at Harvard Business School. Welcome to Lokwani Pradeepji. Namaste. Thank you very much. It's such an honor and here. a pleasure to meet you. And um, really, you are quite a miracle maker for you have predicted 53 out of 57 polls in India. Indian polling is very complicated. So I'd love to know what is the secret to your success here? Uh, so, Ranjini ji, we try actually polling, we need to see what is our objective. So, our objective or the rather vision of our company Access My India is to connect and resolve the problems of all 250 million households. Households I am talking about, 250 million households in the country. That is the vision we are working on and it is very simple and very straight idea is to reach out to the people that's the meaning of to connect to the, to the people try and understand their problems issues likes dislikes on various subjects including social economical and political and after collecting the data make some sense of out of these data by doing robust analysis at our end and try to come out the solution which are practical and easy to implementable in quick time by the relevant or the concerned stakeholder. And we put forward these information which we collected from the ground to the right stakeholder who is likely to solve it so that he is the winner, the people at large is the winner, so as the access my India. So that is what we try and do. And in the process, we end up uh, forecasting, uh, as you mentioned, 57 elections so far from uh, since 2013 to 2022. Recently concluded five state assembly elections, including the biggest one, which is the Uttar Pradesh. That's amazing. So the goal of Access India was not just to do uh, exit polling, really. It was just, a, sounds like it was a byproduct of what you are actually trying to do, which is to understand the people of India, their needs and make a change. So that, that's really interesting. So of all the ideas that you have or the information that you gathered, could you highlight what are the three major things that are facing Indians today? So I'll tell you, uh, it's the human needs which drives the choices people make. These choices are at our decision making includes the outcome of the election as well. While consuming a product or selecting a university or the college, it is your needs which drives your decision making mm. and you perform whatever you perform and come out with the solution, whatever you do. So in election, now let's talk about the election. So there are only three elements or the aspect which evolve the any election for that matter, at least in India for sure. One is the people who elect the government. Two is the leaders whom to be elected. And the third one is the performance of incumbent government whom they have elected five years back. So these are the three elements and we try to understand, you know, what's going on on the ground as far as the election goes and as far as these three key things are concerned and when it comes to the people for any election, believe it or not, in India, 
80 percent of voters turn out meaning voters cast 80 yeah. percent of voter cast is largely their livelihood is largely depend on government social security measures interesting hmm. because for example, how, for example for example there are six seven basic things yeah which is road electricity water education health law and order and farmers related issues and facilities hmm. these are the very broad and basic for that any government is responsible for right okay and after this there are so many government social welfare scheme through which they government do the governance so called the governance yeah. you know and in india you know when i say this 80% people out of this 80% in fact 50% of this 80%, roughly 40%, is lives $200 a month mm. income. Mm. And rest 40 is $100, less than $100 a month income. This is the state, you know, th that's why we used to call it, even today we call it India is a poor country. Right. Though there is so many heritage and wealth of knowledge and information in India and other resources, right. but this is the reality, the hard reality. So you are saying that people are actually very thoughtful in their votes. It is not just by, you know, um, propaganda, you know, following propaganda that they vote, but they actually yes. know what they are asking for. Am I right? 100% you are right. So there are four things in any election, which we call it. First, I will phrase, uh, frame them in Hindi and then I convert into sure, English. Sure. One is the Dave, Vade issues yeah. and irade mm. so what is dave is a claim so any incumbent government will claim they have done this 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 things for you during their five years of rule you know which is called claims yeah what is vade the promises which is being done by the challenger whosoever is there in opposition they the challenger will make list down these, 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 these things we will do if we have been elected. Right. Then issues. There will depend on local election or a general election on a particular locality all throughout. There are many issues. The prevailing issue on the ground, right. which includes the three, four are very common ones. It depends the intensity that very uh, time. One is the inflation. Right. Second is the unemployment. Then farmers related issue always going to be there, the kind of state they are in too. Right. Right. And local thing, there are so many local issues, right? The law and order sometimes, sometimes drinking water problem, sometimes right. road condition is the problem, sometimes health issues are problem, meaning there is no hospital. If there is hospital, there is no doctor. If both the things are there, then there is no medicine. Right. right. What do we do? Right. Then a state of education, whether right. teachers are there and if teachers are there, whether they are attending the classes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you must have seen Indian picture, women carrying the water onto their head for two miles. Right. So yeah. these are the local problems. Sometimes you may find them in a good condition. Sometimes you may not. Right. And these politicians as leader, whoever is leader, they promises to address them when they come to the power. So this is the people. Then the leader. What is the meaning of leader? Is a public representative. That who should be the leader if the leader cannot resonate with the people? Yeah. By their culture, by their language, by the issues mm -hmm. they face in daily lives. And he has, should be heard. The people should be heard. If he's not available or visible to look after the people, then what are you leader for? Mm -hmm. Forming the chair for your own issues. Right. Yeah. So getting my point. So these people are very important. They are very careful while electing the vote. And these days, with the help of technology, education, and communication, now I would say 95%, more than that, we, 
voters take very informed decision interesting interesting in earlier days there was no communication this election is nothing you elect a leader in your family sometime right right, right? and you make the consensus yeah. among whoever is the stakeholder before making the leader right 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 right, right. right. if right. even if there are four sons in a family whom should they call should the leader right right, right who right. will be the most suitable who take right. care of all the families right that's most interesting so you're saying that the indian electorate is very informed um yes. it is not making judgments just like that you know so it's a very thoughtful electorate and uh, is that the premise of your book that's coming out and is that un- is that understanding is what makes access special uh yeah. <laughs> access is special so i leave it people like you to decide <laughs> but uh, yes my book is all these elements we try to talk the women as a demography you know uh-huh. we talk on that in my book we talk what is required to win the election which is delivery 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 mm. what is the impact of these political rallies you must have seen yeah, in yeah, india yeah, yeah, a yeah. massive political rally there right. is a mobilization of the people does this impact the outcome of any election right are people votes based on the size of the rally the outcome is based on the size of the rally yeah so that is also one of the chapter then a state of economy a state of economy versus the outcome whether income if economy is in bad shape whether the incumbent government is still win the election hmm hmm interesting question so i'll just give you the example because if this is known to everybody which is just opposite of that okay so you remember in 2008 when the global slow down there so even india was got impacted yeah. and that time yeah. manmohan singh ji was at the uh, it was the prime minister he, uh, the 2004 he got uh, right. elected and he resumed the office and 2008 this was the economic slow down globally right and 2009 there was the election general election right. and he came victorious right right in 2004 they said india is shining india is shining right. atal bihari vajpay all the economic indicators were in a good state i would right. say economy wasn't uh, growth gdp was 10% plus right he lost the election right right in 14 in 14 after uh, manmohan singh repeated the government in spite the economy was not doing so good in 14 economy was fairly in good shape he lost the election he lost the election so so these are the things right. you know we have covered in our chapter right. and how, uh, you know so these are the four five basic uh, chapters so I, what i'm understanding from you that, that when you go into a you know doing this exit polling it sounds like your model accounts for all the variability is is that why you are so successful in predicting these things yes so ranjit ji see asking people simply whom you have voted or you are likely to vote they are not going to tell you anything of, out of that right. unless you bring the value proposition for any human being mm. he is not going to connect that is the, the connect is not just you are reaching there reaching is just one thing what yeah. is more important when you exchange the information interesting in a true sense yeah so you got to be serious enough convincing enough to get the right insight ah. and for that we need to design the questionnaire accordingly so first is that the of course the basic demography which is age gender geography rural or urban and these are the unique uh, demography and the three one is the common one which is the education occupation and the income mm-hmm. and then we start our questioning starting with what is the kind of problem you are facing in your area mm-hmm. what do you want next government to do they say whatever they want to the second thing is what is the state of various social welfare schemes we list down one at least top five whether you know this are you aware yes or no you got benefit yes or no so we know 
the level of awareness of those flagship scheme, whatever yeah. they call it, the government, the state government and the central government. And the third thing we say, okay, fine, this is the problem. This is the benefit you got or you otherwise are satisfied or dissatisfied. Then the third thing is the leader. Who you think is the most right leader into your mind who can address all these things or been addressing all this. Yeah. Then they talk about the name, whatever leader they want to. And then we get on to your local public representative, which is MLA and MP, whom they directly elect in India. Mm. You know that. Yeah. So whether you want to keep it or you want to change them. I so see. that is about the leadership. And the third thing, whom you have elected last time, what do you think? And how they have performed according to you. And now come election is coming or just election is concluded, if it is exit poll, whom you trusted for the future, then they say whatever they say. Ah, I see. So it's a very in-depth, rich survey. So that gives you the right data for you to analyze. And do you share this data with the governments? I mean, if they, they can understand what's going on in the thing, would they make a change? I mean, have you had any success in doing that kind of yes. a so our clientele includes the corporate, the government, yeah. and the political parties, all three. Okay. And they commission us the study. Ah, okay. And uh, we, it's, uh, see, survey is nothing but a diagnosis thing. Your body becomes a state. You right. run through the scanner. You may find some problem here, some problem here, right. some problem there. And they are the one who has to take the right medicine Listen. or the remedial steps. If oh. you want to really win, that's why we say, you know, our company goal is connecting India to build India. You... So what is our role is nothing but a lab technician identifying the problems and issues and deficiencies in your body. We call it a state and you got to take the right remedial step. Wow. Wow. So have you For seen us... that information gone and has there been some change that has come? that you specifically saw that happened? Oh, a lot, many. Mm -hmm. I would say 60% of our recommendations yeah. is been followed through. Wow. And I would say more than 30 to 40% has been implemented on ground and they have been, you know, beneficiary of all this. Wow, wow, that's amazing. So this proudly I can say that much. And that is the reason why we say we, our mission is to actively contribute to make a billion life, uh, you know, uh, improve. Wow. Wow. In some way or the other. Yeah, no, I, I never thought about, you know, a survey company doing that. But now I see the lab technician is certainly very, very important, you know, so. And, you know, for us, yeah. we also work on one very simple principle. Yeah. The same human being is consumer for corporate, citizen for government. <coughs> and voters for political parties you know the same person human being so our large chunk comes from corporate research the brand from hair oil to footwear we try and understand what you consume and what would be your future purchase intent yes. so if you consume and purchase next is the same which is the loyalty if you're shifting the most important point where you are shifting to unless you do this kind of a study no market share study will tell you where your consumer is shifting to and where he's coming from. Beautiful, beautiful. And this kind of leads into the other very important book that you wrote, which is Blueprint for the Economic Miracle. Um, tell us a little bit about that and what is the blueprint for the economic miracle for India? <laughs> so when we see India and when we talk about India and last 20, 30, 50, 70 years, you will agree me with one very frequently used phrase, a sentence, is that India has tremendous potential. Yes. Right? yes. You've been hearing this from last 70 years yeah. till today. Yes. In India or abroad. Yes. Nobody can have second thought about it. Right. But we are only listening last 70 years. India has a tremendous potential. Where is that potential? The reality is there may be n number of measurement to measure it. What is the actual scene yeah. 70 years back and now the simplest one to my mind is dollar versus rupees valuation. Hmm. It was one is to one at 
1947. Now it is 1 is to 76. Right. Why is that so? Is this the deterioration of the situation on the ground or what it tells you the story? And of course, there is a lot of improvisation as far as the road, electricity, water, technology, communication. I do agree. Yeah. But ultimately, for my mind, it is the people who matters. Mm. So for that, in this book, what we try to understand, where is that potential lies? Yeah. People are talking about 70 years. Where is that potential? So we diagnose three things. Okay. When India is blessed with. One is the sheer population. Yes. For any kind of GDP is nothing but a productivity, right? The outcome. Yeah. So one need to a sheer working hands. India is flush with 1.3 billion as per 20, you know. Yeah. 11 uh, census. Then if people are there, you need some space to work around. Yeah. So India is sitting on, though the India size geographical is one third of China and America, but the kind of arable land this country has even today is most much more than that China and America. Oh, I didn't know that. Wow. I'm telling you that. Yeah. Which is there in Harvard Business School library when we were studying, they have given all the indicators of most of the top 20 countries. Yeah. And I could see that I could, because I'm an analytic right. person, I right. could easily make out whereas that positive lies. Right. So it is most. But, and the third thing, the you got the people you got the place or the land yeah. land mass yeah and also the most important thing india blazed with is the kind of environmental condition this country has hmm. one can work 365 days unlike hmm. western countries where you have so many uh, you know extreme weather you can't yeah. do anything so you want to interesting so these interesting. are the three things which makes people believe India has to win this potential. Okay. Now, okay. how do we do and what we do do? Forget whatever has been done in the yeah. past. I'm not getting into that because yeah. I'm not that kind of person to right. crib about what happened in the past right, or whatever right. has happened, good. Yeah. So I suggested to the government, if these arable land, the way you convert them into an industrial corridor, you know, MIDC, GIDC, yeah. Maharashtra industrial is this thing and the GI Gujarat Industry Development Corporation, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and give people on lease to put up their factory or whatever they want to. Um, I said, India people, eighty percent of people, seventy percent actually live in rural India. Yeah, yeah, meaning they have a very limitation as far as the skillness is concerned. Right, they can only do the farm farming. So I suggested develop these local there are 600000 villages in the country and 6000 cities and towns yeah at local level you lease them to the youth ah. and ask them to do whatever you want to do but only farming no construction wow interesting because they can do only that gandhi ji used to say you know agriculture is soul of our economy economy sure right? sure so you give them, let them do whatever they want to. And now if you see, because of pandemic, this is out of the force. Right. Our export has raised from $300 billion to $400 billion in the last one year. Oh. And the large chunk, the large chunk is contributed. The growth thing I am talking about yeah. is the farm products. Interesting. Products. Wow. Okay. You know, so or people can do only this, even if you can put up 10 factory, though you haven't the, through the help of FDI. But they will give employment to 10,000 people, 50,000 people each. But here you are talking about 70% of rural India. Interesting. 1.3%. And 65% is below 35 of year age. Right. Wow. This is the demographic dividend this company is sitting on. Right. Wow. So this is the blueprint I made and put forward, particularly for the government to follow this. If you can, that is where the economic miracle, which people is talking 
at least I am hearing my <laughs> age is 50 plus, 70 <laughs> years more than that. India sure. has tremendous potential. Yeah. Let us realize those tremendous potential where yeah. it lies. And it's very simple, easy to implement. Is there is nothing very, you know, hanky panky or a very complicated thing which is not uh, possible. It, you just now with the age of technology, you have to just make sure this land is not misused. Right. And that's it. That's it. And then that's it's right. agricultural skill is there anyway. So there's not no. Anyway, that they will do at least make it green. Yeah, exactly. Make it green. Exactly. And that'll be good for everybody and the environment, uh, everybody. especially. Everybody. Yeah, yeah. And food is going to be an issue. And of maybe it could be the answer. So, oh, beautiful, yeah. beautiful. So this I released in 2018. Right. Not Wonderful. Now. <laughs> wow. That, that's amazing. So now you have studied everything. You, you have the pulse of the nation. So what is your prediction for the future now from here? <laughs> future for in what context you're talking about in india i mean both from an economic perspective and electoral you know where is it? i know that the elections are going to so, be coming up so, so, where, so two uh, things. what your what are your astro not astrological but survey based predictions for the future scientific scientific there we go you are you are, you are iitian so you know <laughs> and i am also engineer yes exactly so we cannot give the astrological uh, exactly. you know lens to this Okay. Evidence-based, database. <laughs> yes. Database. Yeah, that data is fine. So two things. One is as far as the economical and socio-economic growth is very good, fantastic. That is quite evident. This data just now I told you just released a week back, the $400 billion plus comparison to $300 billion last time. And this was the highest ever. It's not that because of pandemic, this must have done. Right, right, right. Fantastic. Company is uh, i mean life of people is improving every day but we need to improvise and make it comparable with the developed countries that is what is i am talking about right. it's not that there is no growth tremendous growth is tremendous growth. but when we talk about five trillion economy the only way is yeah. this ah. which is my firm belief Probably. this is them and now coming to the electoral side the political side as I mentioned, for that, I have to have the facts and data before me before I speak out. Pradeep Gupta doesn't speak anything without data. So we haven't studied the ah. data in term of 2024. Right. Okay. I, I thought that might be the case, but I thought I'll just check in <laughs> <That's> anyway. <laughs> so, yes, yes. Uh, so, but uh, the one question I do have is you did mention women as an important demographic factor. And I know that keeps coming up. So I'd love to ask you that, are they really the election makers of India or how important is their role in um, you know, having the polls go the right way? So women is now election, no election maker, government maker. Ah, okay. <laughs> Interesting. So is the government, I'll tell you why, why this transformation happened. Yeah. You know, 10, 20 years back, it has improved, you know, slowly, 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 slowly. We used to call it India, ek, na, Bharat, ek Purush Pradhan Desh. Mm -hmm. Have you heard this? Yes, yes, of course. Of course, yes. Bharat, ek Garib Desh. Hai. Have you heard this? Bilkul, bilkul. These mm -hmm. are the two reality. That is the reason why people say. Yeah. Now, what has changed in last 20 years? Because of technology, communication, and political will at mm -hmm. top level mm -hmm. has changed drastically and which is quite evident when you say purush pradhan meaning dependent male dependent or dominated uh, by mm -hmm. male member why is that so because 80 percent or even 90 percent of women in india were dependent on their male member, what you call CWE, chief wage earner. Right. And the chief wage earner in 80% cases in India, or 90% cases in India, was male. Male. So whatever they are saying, women has to follow, including whom to cast the vote. Uh, now, in last 20 years, and J.J. Lalita, this has started. Interesting empowering the woman to start with giving so many freebies. They call it freebies, but I say 
they are at least taking care of that yeah. particular demography right. which is more important yeah and then the train has shifted largely throughout the india and the Mo when the modi resumed the office in 2014 though starting with you know toilets the toilet is one thing you know the core is women going out and facing lots of problems Right. Second, gas connection. India used to cook their food again, 70% cases before 2015, 14, through wood, yeah. coal, right? Dung waste uh, fuel. Right. And gas connection, the state was you apply today and you may get after 10 years or five years. And you need substantial amount initially to pay as a deposit. Which right. was five thousand rupees. Right, it's a big amount for any poor person to pay and pay for the cylinder after right. that. But what this government has done, Modi government in twenty twenty four, free gas connection. You only pay for the cylinder that time. Right, you know. So coming from and there was a Indira Avas Yojana, free housing, or some financial assistance is given for the housing. Though it was there, Indira Avas Yojana. What this government has changed to the Avas or the house will be titled in the name of woman only. Wow, interesting. Can you imagine? Can you imagine a pleaser of a poor woman having the, you know, honor their name, house under their name? Wow. A man has to bend down a little. Surely, surely, surely. Survey round. Surely. Then during, during pandemic, they've given full ration free. Five kg to one member of the family, five member in the family. So you got a gas connection, you got a house, and you got a food also. Now that positioning of CWE is shifting toward these uh -huh. big, tall political leaders. Interesting. Sometime it was Jailalita, sometime it was Naveen Patnaik, sometime it is Pinaray Vijayan. And throughout India, if you talk, it is Narendra Modi. Interesting. Interesting. So in our recently concluded UP election, the difference between two parties, the BJP and SP, among the male, the differences were four percentage point. Yeah. Among female, it is 12% more. Wow. 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 Interesting. Interesting. So surely everybody has to pay attention to women and uh, it is 50% of way. demography. Yeah. And it's hopefully making going to shift even the way India itself grows. Probably. Would you think so? Even the economy? Of course, yes. Because contributor in the growth, you know, that's why the, without contribution, how can it be the $400 billion? It cannot it, be. It cannot be. Interesting, interesting. Well, you have really opened our eyes to things that we did not know about or understand. So thank you so much, Pradeep Ji. Really appreciate your insights. And uh, we hope our uh, viewers here will read How India Votes and the Blueprint for the Indian Miracle. And, uh, you know, I know that many people have a lot of back and forth with India, and hopefully they will use this to understand India better. Thank you so much, Pradeep Ji. And next time you are in town, we hope we get to see you in person. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you. My pleasure. Namaste.